Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 27th video in Windows Server 2016 tutorial step by step. So in this video I am going to show you bare metal backup and restore by using Windows Server backup. So by default all the Windows Server operating system having a Windows Server backup feature which you can enable to take the backup of your operating system including the um, OS drive, data drives, everything. So I am going to show you the bare metal backup and restore. Uh, bare metal means when when uh, when you're uh, like uh, the when you are going to restore your full virtual machine or a full physical machine from one one hardware to another hardware you can use the bare metal backup to restore uh, your full complete machines so bare metal backup it's going to include basically everything which you having on that server so means your hard drive goes crash you can restore the uh, the the full operating system um um by the uh, by the latest restore point by using the bare metal backup so in this video i'm going to show you i'm going to take the backup of uh, backup of my server by using the bare metal backup and then i'm going to delete my hard drive where the uh, where the server is basically running so after deleting the hard drive basically operating system everything the disk is deleted uh, if you have a like physical hardware red go uh, uh, your hard drives server hard drives goes corrupted or red goes corrupted you can use this method to recover your um, uh, fully functional backup uh, server from a backup so let's have some idea about my daemon environment so i'm using three virtual machine here the first one is active Directory and dns and dhcp role so and this is my uh, you can see here this is my active Directory server where the active Directory dhcp and dns role is running on this machine my domain name is victorinfossil.com so this is my domain server, active Direct domain server, and second one is my Hyper-V server. So basically, this infrastructure I have built in my last video, which where the RDS has been deployed. So I'm use I'm going to use these these servers. So my second server is basically this is a Hyper-V server where I having like my Hyper-V install, and you can see the um, this uh, virtual machines are running on this machine and basically I'm going to work on this machine which is RDS01 so this machine is a RDS01 which having 16 gig of RAM and it's having fully functional remote desktop services you can see installed which we have installed in our last video and it's having pulled created and it's having all the VDIs everything is registered so this is my production server you can say this is my production server actually so you can see I have in collection and everything so I'm going to show you I'm going to take this server backup and going to delete this C drive this server having only C drive for like operating system and everything is configured on this this drive only so I have having no data drive on this machine so if you're having data drive the same way it's going to work bare metal ba uh, backup is going to work in the same way so good to know that the uh, having the fully production server in place so now I'm going to install the Windows Server backup feature so if I go here tools and open a Windows Server backup you can see it's going to see Windows Server backup is not installed on this computer to install add and remove features so I'm going to do it add and remove features click next and it's a feature based installation so click next a server I need to select RDS01 where I'm going to take the backup of this machine and this is not a role it's a feature so I have to go in feature and you can see here the feature we have Windows Server backup so click and just install it so this is a very lightweight installation it's going to take only few seconds to get the installation done for this mm. Um, Windows Server backup feature then we can you go ahead and use that so you can see the installation is succeeded so it looks good and now I'm going to open a tools and Windows Server backup if you go to now backup you can see reading data please wait and you can see we don't have any backup yet configured on this machine so on this machine I having one drive connected here you can see if I go to disk management see I having one drive 150 gig drive here connected which having like um, nothing is uh, this much this drive is not going to use for any I'm going to use this disk 
uh, dedicatedly for my storing the backup schedule backups so good to go and now I'm going to backup schedule so click next and I want to custom here I want to go with the custom backup so I can show you what I want to uh, backup so click next and now if I go ahead and click add items you can see here we have everything here so if I go here and if I select a bare metal backup you can see here it's going to select everything it's going to select everything which we have so it's going to select the like system drive data drive even the page files is everything so looks good here I'm going to click OK and this uh, this is bare metal recovery is basically going to uh, take the backup of everything which you need to restore virtual machine or physical machine to any brand new hardware or a brand new hard disk so click next and when you want to schedule it I'm going to schedule it 7 p.m. every day and now you can see here we have a we have a backup to we have three type of backup you can uh, save this backup to network folder you can backup to volume so I'm going with the recommended option backup to a hard drive that is dedicated for backups recommended one so click next and if I click here you can so so all available disk I'm going to get my 151 gig hard drive here so I'm going to use this drive to backup click next and this is giving a warning because I'm going to select this uh, volume is only for dedicated for backup so it's going to say me when you finish this visa the selected video hard drive will be reformatted so I'm good with that click yes and just click on finish to start the backup so now you can see it's formatting the disk and this it's successfully created the backup schedule so you can see you you have successfully created the backup schedule where this backup schedule is setting so if you go here on a task manager task scheduler if I go here on a Microsoft Windows and I'm going to open a Windows backup here If I go on a backup, you can see here we have a Windows, Microsoft Windows backup. And if I go up in a properties, you can see here location for the backup and triggered. You can see the basically the schedule. If I you want to edit it, you can go ahead and edit it. So you can also do a one time weekly, like how much time you want to take. So if you can one more than more tasks you can go ahead and anytime you can customize this on a schedule on a startup everything you have which you want to do so okay and if you want to add a new you can go ahead and add a new schedule also so if you want one more backup to schedule every like you want to schedule every 7 a.m. morning so you can go and do that also so here you can see if I going and click okay so you can see now I have two type of backup one is like in the morning 7 a.m. and one at the evening so good to know that so we can customize our backup schedule anytime so now I'm going to run the backup one for this machine so if I click on here on a backup once it's going to give me the option schedule backup option or the different option different op option is going to give me the different whatever I want to select to backup I can do that so I'm going I want to go with the scheduled backup option so click next and I'm going to run this so you can see it's creating shadow volume shadow copy of volume so now you can see it's going to start copy very soon and now it's started and now it's you can see it's up the D, uh, C drive and if you go on disk management you can exactly see what's going on here you can see the disk has been renamed and something is there it's going to if I'm going to add a drive later you can see the data here what data is going to be there so I'm going to click assign the drive letter so now if I go here 
you can see here Windows Server Backup is running so good to know that at the server name so it's going to create my backup full backup VHD file here so this is the backup which is running here so I don't want to put drive letter here so I'm going to remove the drive letter because I don't want anyone to go and do anything with this disk so I just removed the drive letter so it will be hide from the my computer so good so we are good and we have to wait for this backup schedule so basically I'm going to wait and pause the recording I'm going to run two time like backup of two times then we can I'm going to show you once we have a two copy of backup I'm going to resume from there and we'll proceed with the further configuration like um, I'm going to delete the hard drive from this machine the OS disk and going to um, run the recovery so I'm going to pause the recording for now so now you can see the backup is completed I'm going to close this and now we have a two 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 backup here two copies of backup so I'm good with this and now I'm going to what I'm going to do I'm going to part of this machine to get the like hard hard shut down and now I'm going to do something like delete this uh, uh, drive hard drive which having operating system so now if I click OK and if I boot this machine is not going to have operating system anymore so it's it's basically uh, the hard drive has been corrupted or hard drive had been deleted which having operating system so now what I'm going to do I'm going to add a brand new hard drive here so and this time I'm going to increase the size of hard drive before it was 60 gig now I'm going to assign like you can say 90 gig hard drive so this is a brand new hardware hard drive it's having nothing on it and I'm going to put the Windows 2016 DVD drive to boot this machine from there so I'm going to use 2016 operating system bootable media ISO and just going to power on this machine so I can see it's booted from the hard drive now we have Windows Server 2016 click next and now we have a small icon here which going to say repair your computer so I'm going to click on it because I have to repair my computer so troubleshoot I'm going to do the system image recovery and if it's scanning now you can see we have a like the image use the latest image available if you want to use the custom you can go here and you can always see the image which you have so I'm going to use the latest one so click next and leave the everything default and just click on finish so it's going to you can see all the disks will be restored will be formatted and replaced with the layout and data and a system image so I'm going to go with this so click OK and now you can see it's preparing to restore so this restore now it's saying this is starting restore and soon it's going to restoring C drive so we have it. now you can see it's restoring the C drive so it's pretty fast and almost it's going to take uh, like 5 to 10 um, less than 5 to 10 minutes to get the machine restored and then we can restart and we can um, go and log in and check our servers is working fine or not after the recovery everything is looks good or not so I'm going to pause the recording here once the recovery is done I'm, I'm going to resume from there so now you can see restore is almost completed and we are almost done so successfully restored and now computer is going to reboot automatically so restart now and I'm going to remove my operating system bootable media because I don't want any more so now you can see it's booting the operating system and we'll see after the re after the restore everything is working 
fine or not so looks everything's good so I'm going to log in now on a RDS admin account so please wait for a few seconds it's loading the server manager now so the server manager is loaded and now I'm going to verify my remote desktop services so I have my collection I have my everything which was installed and configured and you can see it's pulled VDI size 4 and it's having the VDI collection as well so everything looks good and now I'm going to verify my C drive so here is my C drive it's saying it's only 60 gig around because the previously it was 60 gig volume so I'm going to check my disk because I have added 90 gig disk on this machine so here you can see the 30 gig is unallocated so I'm going to extend the size so now we have 90 gig C drive so everything looks good so this is how we can um, backup and restore Windows Server backup by using bare metal backup and rec recovery and um, backup and restore so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye